I'm gonna grab a booty on this side of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We're back. She decided to get me back in here, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for all the people that voted for me to come back. Um, I think that's the real reason she decided to have me. Yeah, because if y'all didn't like him, then I just, I ain't know what to do, so. Welcome back to my channel, guys. We're here for sale again, and as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing, what is it called? We're Not Really Strangers. And we're just gonna answer a few of the questions from the cards and we're gonna be sipping and smoking. So we got three levels. We got level one, which is, you know, not too deep. Just regular questions to get to know somebody. We got level two, which is you no know, deeper questions. And then we got level three, which is like more deep, 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 deep questions. I just think so. First is Cheers to a good game. Yeah. Cheers to being back to a good game. Mm -hmm. The first question is, wait, this is, it says maintain eye contact for 30 seconds. What did you notice? Man, we don't got time for that. 30 seconds is a long time. That's a long ass time. Oh, you want to do it? It's just your car. So I'm supposed to look at you for 30 seconds. We today, supposed to look I at noticed. each other. We're gonna look at each other. I know what I noticed already in the five. First All right, five. Alright, let's do it. Alright, come on. We're just gonna guess. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, you gotta be honest. Yeah. But I gotta see what I noticed. Okay, you can just keep Alright, what did you notice? I noticed that. You just look great today. I don't remember. You just look great. I don't know which to compliment. There's so many compliments. That's the thing I can compliment off. But you look great today. That's what I noticed. Thank you. What did you notice? Your eyes are like different colors. They change colors is what I heard. Oh, you know. I can't. They're like a lot of colors. What color are they right now? Like hazel. I've got people say turn brown and turn green, but in a certain type, like weather type and shit like that, or what yeah. I'm wearing. But I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really too. believe that, but I have heard that they changed colors. So I that said, was that. That one. was the wild card. That was pretty wild. We did How it. There you go. Can I pick anyone or did I just... Yeah, you can pick anyone. You can just, we just gonna pull the card. That's what? what I mean, but... Are you still trying to prove to yourself? What am I still trying to prove to myself? That I'd be right. So you're trying to prove to yourself that you do be right? Yeah. Like, like, I always kind of like question like my abilities and like my intuition. Like your gut feeling and shit like that. Yeah. Say most of the time, you're right. I mean, right. Okay. Uh, I think that that's a good answer, right? That's a good answer. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a question that don't have nothing to do with the card, the decks. Because they wanted to know um, what's your sign? Your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. We're cool people, very spiritual, we fantasize a lot. We are emotional creatures, or whatever you want to call us, but um, I found ways to control my emotions and protect them at the same time. So, but yeah, Pisces are really cool. I hear a lot of like goods and bads about us, but somebody guessed that I'm one of the good ones. Somebody guessed that and it was right. Whoever guessed it. Oh yeah, that. I think I seen that comment too. Yeah, he must be a Pisces. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's crazy. I just wanted to ask you that because they wanted to know what your sign. So you got two questions. Go ahead. Go ahead. You cheating. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Do I remind you of anyone? Do you remind me of anyone? Mm -hmm. um, you. No, you're pretty different. You're yourself. I think that, um, you know, I don't, off the back, I don't think of anybody. Because, like, if you someone reminds you of someone, you'll know I'm instantly like, okay, this person reminds me of someone. So, but, yeah. Not even forgot that for me. Yeah, that's good. It says, write down one thing you want to let go this year. Read out loud. Then R.I.P. or rip up. Oh yeah, then rip up together. Mm -hmm. So it oh, says, so write down one thing you want to let go this year. Read it out loud, then rip them up together. So I think we both can do that, right? Mm -hmm. You write down one thing you want to let go. Pretty good. One thing I want to let go. I know what I want to let go. Mine is fear. And mine is lazy. <laughs> Why? I be wanting to work out and 
do certain things that I can't. Like I mentally, I want to do it, but physically, I don't. Yeah. And I feel like that's just like a part of being lazy. Mm -hmm. Like for example, um, it was something that my brother. I was hanging out with my brother, and he was. Oh yeah, he would. That's what he did. He went and washed and gave his dog a bath, like no problem. And I was like, damn, you know how long it would take me to give my dog a bath? I, I, I think my dog get a bath all the time, and I'm like, I just don't fucking do it. And he just did it with no problem, so I want to do better with yeah. not being so lazy. Okay. I, I pick fear because fear just, not fear necessarily in like just being scared, but you know, like we be having those small fears of just like, um, the future, just like with relationships, and even with yourself, like just small little fears that can stop you from getting ahead in life. I won't let all this shit go and just give it to the most high. And like, yeah. earn much, guys. Yeah, just like, earn it. Let's pick it up. Mm -hmm. So, we letting go. This is what we letting go. Okay, if you could have it your way, who would you be with? Where would you? Wait, who would you be with? Where would you be? And what would you be doing if you had it your way? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like playing like with the, with the with the relationship stuff. So I kind of like I just let that go. I don't ever like who plan or like who I like or who right. I be with. I don't think because well, there's no do that. one. I mean, let's just use you. <laughs> And let's say I would want to say where you would want to be and what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you would rather be with me. I mean, because I don't have no one else in mind. Like unless it's like a like an Instagram model or something. But I don't really know those people either. So it's, it's not like, like I would yeah, want to just okay. predict the future with somebody that I don't personally know. Right. I like them because their looks and shit. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So just like if I had to do it like that, yeah. Say, who I got an Instagram crush on? I like Dream Doll. You do? Yeah, she's, she's fire. Dream Doll is fire. So she's Dream fire. Doll on the island somewhere, and what we'll be doing, we'll probably be cheers and with this wine that I'm right here. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay. Okay, that's cool. What is the most unexplainable thing that ever happened to you? I want the answers to this, you guys, too. Ooh, just as like... much as I get. Come on. Something that you just couldn't explain. It ought to be like, you know, just... I believe, like, catching feelings for somebody so fast. And yeah, like being able to explain it, like how the fuck I like I don't know, like it just happened. It just happened. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's my time. I thought you just. No. I trying to pick all the cards. I gotta pick all the cards. All right, this is um, level three. <sighs> what would be the perfect gift for me? The perfect gift for you, I think I know. Okay. Cause she's, I, I bought her some flowers one time and she just loved the fact that I bought her some flowers. But I'm not gonna say flowers is the perfect gift cause it's not. I would think something like romantic, I think that you are real, the thought that counts type of person. Mm -hmm. You don't think that it's like a price or a size or anything. So I would mm -hmm. think that you would probably really care about something like, for example, I know it's the perfect gift for you. I would take you to a park and have like a little picnic with some flowers, maybe have something delivered or, you know, just like some real like romantic type things that you would think really cute. Cause yeah. you would, you would look at that bigger than just you want to spend some money on you. Oh and yeah. Taking you out somewhere in a club right. or something. <clears throat> All right. I think sure. the little cute stuff. I'm not like the cute, sure. cute person to do those type of things, <laughs> but I can, you know what I'm saying? With the knowledge of someone, like if I knew like that's what you like, I can go out my way and do that. But mm -hmm. I'm not like the romantic type, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I will open your door only if I knew that's something that you want to do, mm -hmm. if you want. I wouldn't just volunteer to open a lady's door but unless I knew should. every lady. Yeah. Even like it's a lot of doors even to open. If... I mean, I like that, but I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not like that. I'm just saying you can't just be opening everybody's door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's something that I wouldn't have a problem with doing. But you know, women, some women are not always okay with that. That'd be an argument later on. Like, why the fuck you not going for that? Some people are. Insecure. Some people are like that, but. Some people are insecure. Because if I open the door, like, yeah, how you doing? Gym. Have a nice day. I like, love oh, that. Then. If I would have went out, I mean, you'd probably be fine with it. Some people won't. Because it's like. But I wasn't saying, like, um, to answer to finish that, yeah, I don't. I, it's, it's definitely nothing wrong with opening the door for women or every woman, but 
it's something that I wasn't grown up being taught to yeah, to do so. Mm-hmm. But I'm a gentleman at the same time, so I have gentleman qualities where I will open the door right. if I felt that that was important to me. Mm-hmm. Show the first photo in your camera roll and explain. Man, that's fucked up. For you. But yeah, what? Is that right? I pulled that. Fuck. I was 33. <laughs> You don't, don't have to look at the photo first. <laughs> we're gonna no, see I'm gonna our, just trying to delete some real quick. Explain the first or the last. Oh, one. no, you said the first, not what the it, last. What it, I mean, the last one that you did. I don't know. This, first is a, this is a picture of my nephew. Oh, that's somebody you know. That's the baby. You know. Okay, that's yeah, my nephew. And it says unbothered. And it says I'm unbothered because he was just sitting in the car and I was talking Who to put him. Who the unbothered on there? Me. I was talking to him and he was not studying me. Like he was just looking like this. And I'm like, hello, he's de- he's do you hear me? Unbothered. He's unbothered, he's so freaking cute. What's his name? Kaden. How do our personalities complement each other? I think that we have a, a nice vibe and bond to where that we would have. I don't think anything could mess up our relationship besides us. I think yeah. that we have like a type of vibe there was no one out there that can interfere and affect right, our relationship right. besides us. So if we ever fall out, it's because of something we did. Yeah. I mean, I like the fact that, like, you know how to talk and communicate. Yeah, I'm like, a big communicator. I expressed that to you earlier or before, basically, and I'm real open to um, being accepted to for who I am. So mm-hmm. that, that, that that is why I'm yeah. always open to I like what I that. think and what I, you know, like and what's going on with me in my life. Because yeah. at the end of the day, at the same time, it gives you an opportunity to, to choose, choose and be in a mm-hmm. situation if you want to. But at and the that's all, that's what I ask. Like, I'm not trying to get off topic, but like in previous like relationships, that's all that I've been like, even with like friendships, like that's what I want, like in a relationship, like, for somebody to just be openly like, yeah. their, like how they feel. A lot of men fail to understand that. Yeah, they don't get it. Yeah, you'll get a lot more love mm-hmm. and respect from anybody just by being truthful. Exactly, honest, and just like. And the reason of that, it makes it it makes your life a lot easier for the simple fact. Let me tell you why. Let me give you an example. If I were to persuade and make it seem like I'm someone I'm not. I would have to uphold that image every time I'm yeah. around you. You know what I'm saying? That just continues. That just basically forces me to be fake a lot because I'm mm-hmm. trying to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. But if I give you what's going on with me and this is who I am, this is what makes me comfortable, this is what I like, and it's like that now makes me comfortable because now that you know how to come at me, right? how to yes. deal with me, you know what I'm saying? Because you know where I'm at mentally, what makes me happy, what frustrates me, what I don't like. If I give those type of that to you mm-hmm. to be able to, it makes my life easier and right. at the same time it does for you. Right. So let's go a little bit too. Get the chair. Next to me. Both players write an embarrassing fun in fact about yourself. Play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Losers must reveal. Interesting. Yo. You want me to come up now? Yeah. Can you give me like 30 minutes, 20? All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to call you back. Right. That's some money that I put to the side for this. Well, it's okay. Because I'm doing this. I need to see the most embarrassing thing she did. She's going to lose this rock paper scissors. He needs to wait. We need to figure this out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... In front of y'all. So you got to do rock, paper. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but you know how to do it, right? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. That's how it goes. Yeah, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. You put your whatever. answer up yeah. there, all right? Yeah. All right? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to do it one time? Whoever wins. Yeah, whoever okay. Wins. Whoever wins. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. No, no, you don't do that. You got to do it the third one. Shoot. One, rock, paper, scissors, then you do it. Then you do what you do. I'm going to do it. I don't think it's supposed to be like yes, that. It's it's it rock, is. paper, scissors, then shoot. shoot. Okay, rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. No! I won. Ugh. She put paper. I mean, it's not that embarrassing, but I almost fell off the stage um, at work in front of like everybody. You sure you never fell on stage? No. I, I caught myself. Don't like, lie. No, I never fell on stage. But what the thing is, like, when it happened, 
I was like, you know how you get in that mode, like you know you the shit, like you doing your thing, like people throwing money, then boom, like something just embarrassing happened. You almost fell. That's it was, but the way I almost that. fell was like so embarrassing, like. I won't give each other nicknames. So that's the thing we'll go about it. Gotta give each other nicknames, guys. I would. Damn, I never had to do that. <laughs> can I call you Pear? I can call you Sally. Sally's cool. You can call me Pear. You can call me Pear. That's cute. Yeah. Pear and Sally. Are your current mood? Oh, you gotta draw it? Mm hmm You know how to draw your pen? Like, like yeah. happy face, sad face, straight face? Yeah. You can do that. That's gonna be easy, but you know I'm happy as fuck. You happy as fuck? <laughs> no, you <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I am. Okay, draw your version of a happy face. Okay. Yes. Alright, y'all, this is sales. Sellies. Yeah, this one is mine. Can you see mine? <laughs> I see you see mine? <laughs> That's, so That's an emoji. That's, That's my move. No, you just cheated. Everybody's gonna wanna know what that question was. You gotta <laughs> say it. No, we're gonna I don't... Wait, if we're you're not gonna use it, that's fine. But you still need to tell us what it was. We need to know what well, you're running for. What can we create together? I think we can create history. What I mean by that, like for example, um, you know, I think that we got goals and things that we are striving for that we might be able to look back on one day. So I feel like you know, that we can make history or whatever that we build is something that I feel like we'll be able to talk about in the future. Yeah. So okay. yeah. When you said history, I was like, hold up, wait. I like history is just something that you know that we can look back on in the future yeah. that that's, this okay. would happen in the past. Yeah, I like that. Then we can come afar and a long way so we can look back and be like, yo, remember that day? We made that one fucking vlog in the house. And right. And answer the questions and look at us. Yeah. Let's just take a selfie together. We never took a picture together. A so selfie? Be, I said this would be our first picture. I like this one. Oh my goodness. We're using my phone and we don't care what her good side is or nothing. We just gonna take it. Paper scissors. Winner can ask their partner anything. Loser must answer. So okay, basically we're answering like okay, this, this is, is the card I want. This is the one. But what if you lose? Don't forget you lost the last one. Come on. Well, I'm not. I'm not a loser. I'm not losing. <laughs> come on, All right, come on. So it's rock paper scissors, scissors. shoot. Rock, rock paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. <laughs> How the fuck do you pick paper again? Cause my paper like is like one of the ones like. You're like, gonna pick scissors. Go ahead. You supposed to ask me a question. Oh shit, damn, you right. When was the last time you was in a serious relationship? And okay. how long? The last time I was in a serious relationship, I was dating somebody, but it wasn't a relationship. But it got fucking serious. Mm -hmm. Does that count? But I had a real girlfriend that I tried. See, I've been single for a long time. I'm just going to explain my little history of my relationship. So I've been single for a long time in my eyes. Since my baby mom, me and my baby mom separated since my child was one years old. And mm -hmm. um, it's probably about six years after that. I tried a relationship out. Maybe it lasted a couple months, but we were talking and dating for about a year before we actually tried to make things official. I guess I wasn't ready at the time, so we kind of still 
you know, we separated, we're still cool friends or whatever. But there was this one girl that I was dating that I never gave the <clears throat> the title or never said that she was my girlfriend. We're just, you know, friends that were really close and yeah. you know, that I cared about, she cared about me. But anyway, yeah. that was the last time. And you said, was, was it anything else of that? Oh, no, how long? How long y'all was dating? Oh, for about a year and a half, maybe. Do you ever think I've checked my ex phone for evidence? Do you think I'm that type of person? We need to know. Yeah. Oh. Not like on a confidence, yeah, but I think that you do seem like you will try to get words. down to the fucking bottom or something. I'm not gonna say like you just out of bounds like that, but yeah, I think you did. I have before. I only did it one time, but <laughs> when I did, did it, did you get? Huh? <laughs> I got the results I was looking for. This is what happened. Did you go to somebody's phone? Look for evidence. That's Have your you? card, sweetheart. Oh my <laughs> God! You can answer it. Too. It is your. That's the point of the game. You had to tell what your okay. experience was. I'm not telling these people that I went to some, some girl phone. Are you crazy? Look at this card. I pulled the best card. It says, "Give your partner a hug, not a regular one, but a fluffy one, a warm, mm. fluffy one." I'm gonna grab a booty on this hug, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can get up a hug. Yeah, we can get up a hug. Oh. Camera. I get to give you guys a hug. This is a nice, oh. fluffy hug. She smells so good too. That's it. That was a nice little. I like that. Smells good. What was your first impression of me? The, oh, the first impression. I was first in love with the first impression. I, see, you know, I seen yeah. you. It was like, well, I ain't gonna lie, I was on. I was in love, but I was definitely very attracted to her when I first met her. Yeah. When I first seen her, she knew I was. I was looking at her like she was some. But yeah, that's my first impression. Y'all know he asked me. He was like. I had I had like got my hair done. I had just got it done. I don't even remember what I asked. And this, this he was like, and he was like, is that your real hair? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's a wig. I don't know what it is. I was, I was he was like, like, is that your real? Wait, what that hairstyle shit. was it? Probably I forget what. It was straight. It was straight. It was straight, it was straight. It was straight hair. Cause you know her shit be laced for real. <laughs> we do her shit like her shit like really down there to the teeth. <laughs> And, but it made me laugh though, cause it's like he, he was just like, "Is that your real hair?" I'm like, "No, it's nice the wig." Huh? <laughs> My camera about to die. We did. We answered a lot of questions though, you guys. So I want to keep it going, though. It's so fun. She want to keep it going because she want to ask. She got more questions and ask. I just want to get. To, I want to get to know you a lot more. But I guess we can do that off camera. I guess. Yeah, we do it off camera, and then we come back to you guys and tell you guys what we know about each other. Yeah.